I'm going to guide us through a quick tapping sequence that you can use if you've got one or more relationships in your life that are feeling a little bit out of balance due to maybe overgiving or feeling kind of depleted or burnt out a little bit. So this can be relationships with coworkers or employers, it can be with friends or family or romantic partners, even whole organizations or communities. And of course, there can be multiple relationships that are out of balance in your life at one time. <laughs> that sometimes happens to us. So if that's the case for you, just choose one to work on right now, and then you can always repeat the process with another one later on. So think of this relationship that's out of balance in your life, and just tune into your body as you think of it, and notice what's going on for you. Could be that you're feeling a little bit of constriction in the throat, maybe a heaviness in the chest, just see what's there for you and then we'll start tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I've got a little bit of imbalance in this relationship, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though this relationship in my life is feeling kind of unbalanced, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though this relationship in my life has me feeling depleted because it's a little bit out of balance, I'm open to loving and accepting myself anyways. Alright, and tap on the top of the head. This relationship is out of balance. Tap on the eyebrow. I've got this relationship in my life that's out of balance. Tap on the side of the eye. I've got this relationship that's out of balance and it doesn't feel very good. Tap under the eye. I feel kind of depleted, exhausted, and maybe even burnt out. Tap under the nose and just check in if that feels true for you. Tap under the lips. I feel kind of depleted, exhausted, and burnt out. Tap on the collarbone. It's got me feeling depleted, exhausted, and burnt out. Tap under the arm. Like I've been giving too much and getting too little from it. Tap on the top of the head. Like maybe I've been overgiving to this relationship. Tap on the eyebrow and just kind of check in on that. Tap on the side of the eye. It could be that you're actually giving quite a bit and not getting back very much with this relationship under the eye or it might even just be that you're getting so little from it <laughs> that any amount you give feels like you're overgiving as well Tap under the nose. Oh, it feels like i'm overgiving to this relationship tap under the lips it's got me feeling depleted and burnt out tap on the collarbone i just feel exhausted and depleted and burnt out tap under the arm oh, i feel like i've been overgiving in this relationship Tap on the top of the head. This relationship is out of balance and I've been overgiving. Tap on the eyebrow. I've been giving a lot and getting not enough from it. Tap on the side of the eye. And it's got me feeling depleted and kind of burnt out. Tap under the eye. It's got me feeling depleted and exhausted. Tap under the nose. I've been overgiving to this relationship. Tap under the lips. And it's got me feeling like kind of burnt out and exhausted. Tap on the collarbone. This relationship is out of balance. Tap under the arm. Feeling exhausted and depleted and burnt out. Tap on the top of the head. I feel like I've been giving a lot and not getting back the support that I want. Tap on the eyebrow. Like I've been giving a lot and not getting a lot. <laughs> Tap on the side of the eye. And it makes me feel kind of angry and bitter and spiteful. Tap under the eye and just check in if that's there for you. Tap under the nose. It's got me feeling kind of bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap under the lips. I feel bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap on the collarbone. You might even say, I'm friggin' furious. <laughs> Tap under the arm. I'm pretty pissed off. Tap on the top of the head. I feel bitter and angry and spiteful on the eyebrow because I've been giving so much and getting so little. Tap on the side of the eye. Just been giving a lot and getting so little back. Tap under the eye. And it's got me feeling bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap under the nose. I feel bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap under the lips. <sighs> I am like so furious at the other part of this relationship. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone for giving me so little after I give so much. Tap under the arm. It's making me feel bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap on the top of the head. 
I might even be feeling like I want something bad to happen to them because they've given me so little. Tap on the eyebrow. <sighs> Part of me is like, yeah, I hope something bad happens to you. Tap on the side of the eye. Because I've been giving so much and getting so little from you. Tap under the eye. And I just feel spiteful and like I want revenge. Tap under the nose. Feel kind of spiteful and like I want revenge. Tap under the lips. I just want something bad to happen to them so they'll learn their lesson. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. <sighs> I feel bitter and angry and spiteful, like I just want revenge. Tap under the arm. I feel bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap on the top of the head. And there might be a few words that I'd like to say to the other part of this relationship. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow and just check in if that's true and what kind of words you would like to say side of the eye and go ahead and express them to you. Tap under the eye. Maybe I'd like to say, screw you. <laughs> you so took advantage of me. Tap under the nose. I gave so much and got so little back. Tap under the lips. You're so selfish. Tap on the collarbone. <sighs> I just feel so spiteful. And maybe there's a few words I like to express to this person. Tap on the top of the head. Just go ahead and notice if there's anything else you need to get off your chest. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. There's kind of a few other things that I want to say. Tap on the side of the eye. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tap under the eye. <laughs> See if there's anything else that comes up that you really want to say. Tap under the nose. And I feel kind of bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap under the lips. I feel bitter and angry and spiteful. Tap on the collarbone. Like part of me just wants revenge. Tap under the arm. Because part of me feels like just so undervalued and unappreciated by this other party. Tap on the top of the head and just check in if that's true for you. Tap on the eyebrow. <sighs> I'm just feeling so underappreciated, undervalued, and taken for granted. Tap on the side of the eye. And like there's nothing I could do to get this other party to see my value and acknowledge it. Tap under the eye. Just feeling like I really want more support from this relationship than what I'm getting. Tap under the nose. And it makes me feel really undervalued almost worthless, really. Tap under the lips. And I feel like there's nothing I could do to get the other party to see my value and my worth. Tap on the collarbone. Just check in if that feels true at all. Tap under the arm. It makes me feel really powerless and small. Tap on the top of the head and notice if that aspect is there for you too. Tap on the eyebrow. It makes me feel really powerless and small. Tap on the side of the eye feel undervalued, unappreciated, and powerless and small. Tap under the eye. Feel powerless and small. Tap under the nose. Feel really powerless and small. Tap under the lips. Feel so underappreciated and undervalued. Tap on the collarbone. It makes me feel really worthless. Tap under the arm and I feel powerless and small. Tap on the top of the head. Feel powerless, worthless, and small. Tap on the eyebrow. Feel powerless, worthless, and small. Tap on the side of the eye. Maybe that's partly why I want revenge. <laughs> Tap under the eye. <laughs> Just check in if that feels true in any way for you. Tap under the nose. Feel powerless, worthless, and small. Tap under the lips. I'm feeling powerless and worthless and small, and it kind of seems like the only way I can get the respect I deserve <laughs> is to have revenge on the other person. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. As funny as it seems, <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> Tap under the arm. Feel powerless, worthless, and small. Tap on the top of the head. Feel underappreciated and undervalued. Tap on the eyebrow. And I keep wondering, what would it take for this relationship to be in balance? Tap on the side of the eye. What would it take to have this person see my value and worth? Tap under the eye. I just feel kind of 
powerless and helpless, tap under the nose, wondering what would it take for this person to see my value and worth, tap under the lips, and for this relationship to come back into balance, tap on the collarbone, and if anything does come up for you as you're asking those questions, just take note of it, it could be valuable insight, tap under the arm, but if nothing comes up, that's fine too, tap on the top of the head. What would it take for this other person or party to notice my value or worth? Tap on the eyebrow. And what would it take for this relationship to come back into balance? Tap on the side of the eye. Because right now I feel underappreciated, undervalued, small, unworthy. Tap under the eye. Powerless. Tap under the nose. I'm feeling quite a bit like a victim here. Tap under the lips. relationship. Tap on the collarbone. This feels like I've been giving so much and I feel like such a victim. Tap under the arm. And there's so many feelings that go along with this. Tap on the top of the head. Feel angry, frustrated, bitter. Tap on the eyebrow. I feel spiteful. Tap on the side of the eye. Feel unvalued, unappreciated, unsupported. <laughs> Tap under the eye. <sighs> feel taken for granted. Feel powerless. Tap under the nose. Feel small and unworthy. Tap under the lips. There's really a lot in there. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. This relationship is out of balance. Tap under the arm. And I'm wondering what would it take for it to come back into balance? Tap on the top of the head. <sighs> And I'm kind of wondering, what would it take for this other person to see and acknowledge my worth and my value? Tap on the eyebrow. I don't know if it's even possible. Tap on the side of the eye. I'd like to be open to some other possibilities for this relationship. Tap under the eye. And maybe I can't really even imagine what those are. <laughs> Tap under the nose. But... I definitely like to see the possibility of me not overgiving <laughs> and turning out all the time. <laughs> Tap under the lips and maybe even the possibility of me being supported, appreciated, and valued and feeling like I have some power over my life too. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. <sighs> even if all of that seems kind of crazy. <laughs> Tap under the arm. I'd like to be open to those possibilities or maybe even some other ones that I can't even see. Tap on the top of the head. I don't know if I can be open to them though. Tap on the eyebrow. Sounds like a recipe to be taken advantage of and end up over giving again. <laughs> Tap on the side of the eye. But maybe I can be open to them. Tap on the eye. No, probably not. I probably shouldn't. I should just get revenge on this person. <laughs> Tap under the nose. Or maybe I can be open to those possibilities. Tap under the lips. No, I probably can't. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. Or maybe I can. Tap under the arm. And whether I can or can't, either way I'd like to be okay and just accept myself as I am. Alright. Take a nice deep breath in. Let's just check back in. So think back to that relationship that's kind of out of balance where you feel like you're overgiving. And notice what's going on in your body now as you think of it. It might be that things feel quite a bit lighter and different. Maybe like there's some way that you've been not asserting yourself even or some solid action has come forward that you can take to either end the relationship or have it change in a way that's favorable for you. So that can be all really useful information. It might also be that as we were tapping, some specific memories came up associated with times that you felt particularly powerless or taking advantage of or like you're overgiving. So those can be great to do some tapping on with the tell the story technique to really help let go of any hurt feelings or stuck energies surrounding those specific memories. Um, it might also be that since there were so many emotions kind of wrapped up in today's tapping sequence that maybe some of those are still there for you a little bit and present. So you can always tap through this again and focus on those um, particular emotions that are present now. It also might be that now you're thinking of another relationship in your life, so you can also repeat the process with other relationships too and help bring those ones into balance as well. <laughs>